it's hot and it's humid and this certainly isn't the first time you've heard us weather folks say that over these past couple of weeks but is there relief in sight we got a chance to speak with environment canada senior climatologist dave phillips and it got a little heated it began early in may we saw a couple of days above 30 and on june we had eight days we've had a couple in july i mean if you take a look at it we've had probably about 12 days where the temperature's been above 30. Uh, typically you get four by this time. And last year, the whole summer, the whole year, we only had 11 of those days. So we've already reached last year's total. We haven't had a lot of precipitation. We're only about 60% of our annual precipitation in May and June. So there's not a lot of water to transpire and to evaporate into the air. So that's keeping the humidity down, more like, like desert air rather than jungle air. What's the concern when you have temperatures above 29, 30 for this amount of days in a row? The body can't kind of re rejuvenate uh, when we get temperatures that consistently so, so, so long. So the elderly, uh, very infants, for example, they suffer under these kind of, of conditions. And even the air quality gets a little uh, stale. We're breathing the same air on Friday that we breathed on Monday. And so, so that's beginning to... To, to wear us down. Is there relief in sight? You know, Malia, it, it doesn't look it. I mean, often you can see in seven days, looking at seven days out in Canada, I don't see any change. All the models are saying, we said that in back in late May, it's gonna be a warmer than normal summer. It'll be a drier than normal summer. And guess what? It is that. How can people stay cool right now? Avoid the midday. Uh, uh, if you've got to do active things like jog or exercise, choose the early morning or after the sun goes down. The sun is not as direct. Avoid that. But also just learn how to drink, you know, cool, cool water. Always have washcloths close by. You can put them on your wrists and your forehead. really need a washcloth right now and a reminder to check in on the elderly in your life keep the kids inside for the most part because they are the most vulnerable and if you're pregnant try to stay inside for most of the day as that heat warning is sticking around for the foreseeable future now let's take a look at current conditions in the city right now we are sitting at about 32 degrees in toronto brampton mississauga at 32 as well Oakville at 33 degrees, Burlington at 27. And with the Hubidex, it's feeling a lot warmer than that. More like 38 in Toronto, 39 in Hamilton, 35 in Barrie, and 37 in Niagara Falls. Overnight, we are dropping down to 21 degrees, so you're not really getting much of a relief from that heat overnight as well. Certainly will not need the blanket. Our average low for this time of year is 14, so it is going to be a lot hotter than that. As for your day tomorrow, another hot and humid one. What a surprise, 23 around 8 a.m. So if you do go for a jog, know that you will be sweating a lot more in the afternoon, sitting around 30, a UV index of nine, which is very high. And then we're hitting 32 degrees, feeling like 36 tomorrow. So a great opportunity to go to a splash pad like the one here at Jack Darling Memorial Park in Mississauga. People are certainly enjoy enjoying it. And then on Sunday, lots of sunshine, 32 again. And pretty much take a look at our seven day forecast. We're in the 32, 33 range over the next few days. Midweek, it's going to be feeling like 40 three so if you like the heat and humidity you'll be very very happy and if you don't well you're out of luck because that's what we have over the next few days that's a look at your seven-day forecast